Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back, cover my address here, with my Sugar Muses Deluxe for March 2023. Yes! Okay, before we get into that box, well first off, hello and welcome. <laughs> if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Lisa. On my channel I like to do lots of witchy things, mostly unboxings, but I'm gonna really need to work on some other stuff too. So if that sounds like something you might like, hey! Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Yep. The notification bell if you don't want to miss anything because it'll tell you about it. All right. So a couple housekeeping things. Um, I have number one, have a new product, sort of. Um, I've got new packaging in, in a different way for you guys to purchase in my store. If you guys are not familiar with my store, it is entitled, I think, My Witchy Store. It is also Luna Moth Creations Co. on Etsy. That is also another way to support me and my channel. I really, really appreciate you guys um, helping a sister out to make her dreams come true. You know what I'm saying? Okay. No. Nobody wants to hear that. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is I have cauldron sand, which I've sold cauldron sand in these little jars that have the little thingies. These are in my shop. Just a couple. I don't have a lot. So these are one ounce of cauldron sand. What is cauldron sand, you say? Well, let me show you. <laughs> you put it in the bottom of your um, cauldron and then you put your charcoal disc on it to um, disperse the heat and not um, burn your house down and all that shiz. So um, I have a video of how to use your cauldron with the cauldron sand, the charcoal disc, and herbs, all of which I sell in my shop. Not the cauldron, but the sand, the charcoal discs, and the herbs. I will put my video right here, how to use a cauldron or something like that. Um, note to future self, Lisa, don't forget to do this right here. Okay, but in addition to these little jars, which I only have like a few in each one, I need to buy more jars and more cauldron sand. Um, but we also, I just packaged these Little Moth Creations Co. Cauldron sand, so I've got them in nine different colors. So it will tell you on there what color, magical properties of that color for you know color magic type situations, and then on the side, obviously how to use it. And it basically is kind of sarcastic. Add it to your cauldron. <laughs> Put your charcoal disc in and you know, use it to burn shit. Okay. So anyways. Um, there are six ounces of cauldron sand in each of these, and I've got purple, I've got black, red, I've got yellow, I have silver, orange, <laughs> pink, <laughs> blue, and the green. So I personally, and you don't have to do this, but I personally will use, um, colored cauldron sand based off what spell I'm doing. If I'm doing a money spell, I'm going to use some green. Healing, I'm going to do blue. You get the point. Um, ooh, passion and love, red or pink. Psychic intuition, purple. Okay, anyways, I've got stuff listed in my listing, um, kind of magical properties of the colors, and then like I said on the jars, it's listed. So, run, don't walk to my Etsy store. <laughs> <laughs> and buy some cauldron sand. All right, let me move this over here. Um, and if it if it seems like you guys are digging on it, I'm gonna keep selling that in my shop. Um, and these the jars they may look like there's like not as much in there, but it is one ounce. I'm I'm measuring shit, y'all, to you know so I can keep my stuff in order. So, anyways, oh that's hot, but it's good. It's good. So, um, I ran out of monsters. I'm drinking, um, hot apple cider. Yum! Okay. All right. Enough of that. Let's get into the box. So, Sugar Muses, um, they have a... Do they have... Yeah, they have three boxes now. So, Sugar Muses has the Sugar Muses Deluxe, which is this one. They have the Midnight Muses, and now the Midnight Muses Lux box. In February, that was their first introduction to the Midnight Muses Lux. Let's see if we can get this tape off here. And 
I have a link below in case you guys are interested in this company and buying their boxes. If you use my link, I get a kickback, which is amazing. I'm so thrilled. Thank you, Christy, for letting me be an affiliate with you. I keep, my chair keeps sliding. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna knock everything off my altar. Um, it, it, that really helps out my channel too, so I can keep doing things for y'all. All right, let's get into the box. Gonna stop talking about stupid shit. I mean, I guess none of that was stupid shit. All right, so our theme is Ostara. Yay! Okay, so I'm I'm starting to get used to um, her layout of these because it's different than it used to be. Oh, okay. So first history. It says one of the eight festivals of the Wheel of the Year. Ostara is named after the Scandinavian goddess of spring, or by her Anglo-Saxon name. Um, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Oestri? I don't know. I say Ostara, but it's E-O-S-T-R-E. -E, um, or it's spelled O-S-T-R-E. Both names connect with the Greek dawn goddess Eos. Um, the word also provides the root of our modern word east, from which the sun rises. You might also notice the word Easter reflect. Girl, them Catholics and Christians, they stole shit. <laughs> okay, uh, reflected in this goddess's name. She is said to be a goddess of fertility and the dawn. The first mention of her was in the 8th century where pagans held a feast for her on the full moon. One legend tells of Ostara finding a bird wounded on the ground late in the winter season. To save its life, she transformed it into a hare. But the transformation was not a complete one. The bird took the appearance of a hare, but retained the ability to lay eggs. The hare would then decorate these eggs and leave them as gifts to Ostara. Okay. And then it says spells and rituals um, to honor Ostara. It says spring cleaning, burn fires in celebration of the returning light, Begin setting the soil for the gardens. Perform spells for abundance, fertility, and balance to your home. Some other deities and uh, deities to include in ritual spell work during Ostara include Flora, Pan, Gaia. For some, this is the principal holiday for worshiping the triple goddess, while others focus on specifically worshiping the maiden and her association with spring. Um, and then she has connection to goddess energy. I need another drink. This is so hot, though. Nom, 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 nom. Some people have asked why connecting to a deity goddess is necessary to cast spells and perform magic. Of course, it's not necessary, but personally, i found that individuals can co-create with the forces of nature and tradition by linking their personal energy with the divine or the persona of a deity. Goddesses such as Ostara are really aspects of the divine goddess. Um, a witch may adopt a patron god or goddess with whom the witch maintains an ongoing relationship, or they may be honored at particular points along the wheel of the year. They may also be appealed to for assistance with magical work, usually with specific types of magic they are traditionally associated with. A witch might work with deities from any pantheon, from anywhere around the globe, including Africa, Asia, the Americas, and or Europe. Many people choose to work with deities from their own hereditary cultural heritage as a way of linking with their ancestors from past millennia. While others are drawn to deities with no connection to their own family or ethnic history, sometimes if you are lucky, the goddess chooses you. And it says, the items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do to inspire you on your journey. If you like the option of guided ritual, I've outlined one below along with the metaphysical properties of the items in this month's box. Okay. Um, okay. Actually... So she has the contents listed up here. Here's the ritual. Um, maybe it's somewhere. Okay, we'll figure that out. Alrighty then. Let's see what we got. First we've got our Ostara. Um, and it says my secret garden. Um, uh, artwork. Always created by Christy. And then apparently our herb this month is going to be lemon balm sell in my shop. <laughs> Here's our artwork for that. All right. And then I have a um, little card in here. Let's see. All right. So it is my intuitively drawn 
Oracle. It's got a little fairy at the bottom and it says, Fairy Walks. Take a whimsical fairy walk today and as you stroll, watch for signs of our presence. We will reach out with inspiring thoughts and delightful surprises with every step. I wonder if it says anything about... Intuitively Drawn Orca Card. For more info about your card and the deck it was drawn from, search for Fairy Whispers Oracle on SugarMuses.com. Take a moment to reflect on the meaning this card has to you and of any insight it may bring. Very nice. Oh, I bet she said something about art print. Basically, she just says the digital collage art print was created exclusively for this month's box. It can be placed on your altar or added to your Book of Shadows journal. This print features the beautiful artwork of Francesca from Gypsy Craftery. And that was the um, Ostara. And then the Lemon Balm. And it's uh, the work by Carrie Style 24 Designs. Okay. There we go. Ooh, this box is full. All right, so first we have an Ostara offering. Very nice. Let's see. Sprinkle this blend around your something that we're not going to say. Burn dress candles or add to sachets. Contains uh, larkspur, jasmine, bay leaf, and blue sage. I do not carry whatever Larkspur is or Blue Sage. I carry White Sage. I do carry Jasmine and Bay Leaves. Um, I'm going to have to look the rest of these up. I'm always wanting to add more things. And then we have um, Botanical Bundle. Got this little beautifulness I'm going to put right up there. And it says, these little bundles were handmade with dried botanicals, mostly from my garden. Some, some may include uh, larkspur, cedar, bay leaf, and garden sage. Very nice. All right. Ooh, we have a, a sachet, and it has a little palm stone. Let me get this open. Let's see here. All right. So it is a rose quartz palm stone, like a mini palm, with a triple moon on it. Hopefully you guys can see that. I don't know if I need to turn up my my lighting. Cool, it's so pretty! Okay, let's see. Yep. Triple Goddess Rose Quartz Palm Gemstone. The most common meaning associated to the Triple Goddess symbol is the Maiden, Mother, and Crone. Each phase of the moon cor correlates with a phase of a woman's life. Carrying this stone can be a powerful reminder throughout the day of your connection to the Divine Feminine and all it represents. Place on your altar or in your sacred space to help call in the same energy. Rose quartz has such a beautiful calming energy and whenever I wear or carry it with me, I feel like I'm wrapped up in a soft fuzzy blanket. This gemstone is known to promote self-love, inner peace, and connects to feminine energy. I'm going to put it on my little selenite wand there to, um, to charge it. And let me tell my phone to be quiet <laughs> because it's going to just be making noise while we're sitting here. All right. So then we have a little box. And it says what it is. Hold on. Where's my exacto knife? Uh, let me get it out of here before I tell you guys. Okay. So it's a wildflower seed pod. And... Let's read about it. Can I just drop it in the earth and it'll do things? That'd be great. Because, you know. Wildflower seed pod. Seed balls are one technique for propagating plants that preserves and protects seeds while they germinate and grow roots. Each seed ball is handmade with recycled materials. Check regional planting zones for your area. Instructions. Press into soil in area of full sun. Do not bury. Okay. If garden space is not available, plant in a pot. Allow space from mature plants around the planting area. Keep moist and water as needed. Contains recycled paper, clay, poll pollinated seeds, sunflower, shasta, daisy, California poppy, lavender, amaranth, amaranth, I don't know, black eye, Susan, calendula, forget me not, sunflower mix, organic non-EMO. Okay, so you press it into the soil 
where there's full sun, but do not bury it. Okay, we'll see. Let's see if I can do this, because I want to be a green witch, but <laughs> not so much. All right, and here comes one of my absolute favorite things from Sugar Muses, and it is her oil blends, and it says Secret Garden Body Oil. Ooh, body Oil. Oh, what? I know the smell. I know it. Hold on. I need more of it. <laughs> I need more of it. Yummy. Okay. Where is it? Secret Garden Body Oil. And it smells like a floral garden, like, to the max. It's yum. Anointing oils are powerful means of dedicating yourself and or your magical components with energies correspondent to your intent. This magical oil blend contains pink grapefruit and ginger essential oils, really, with linden blossom absolute and an almond oil base. Oils can also be used to anoint candles, spell items, and altar tools because this oil is 100% organic and free of alcohol, phthalates, and other chemicals. I suggest using it within six months. Ritual oils may be used as perfume to carry your magical intentions with you throughout the night and the day and the night for external use only. Wow, I, I didn't expect the pink grapefruit and ginger. It just smells so florally. It smells so good, and I need more drink. Mm-mm-mm. Yummers. Okay, now we've got our candle, and it is um, Ostara candle. Woo! Threw some stuff out. Mmm, it's so pretty. Okay, let's read about it. Man, I've got so many great things for my Ostara ritual um, that I will be doing. Okay, Ostara candle, naturally organic and vegan. This hand poured candle contains soy wax and is pressed with larkspur. I feel like I need to get larkspur. Probably not saying that right. Cedar and lavender with notes of dewy ferns and rose geranium. Yeah, placed on your altar, it can be used to invoke the element of fire. Never leave burning and Try not to burn down your house, kids, or pets, is basically what that said. <laughs> oh, yummy. So good. Okay. Ostara bath salts. Huh? Look at that. That's a good one. It's got tons of yummies in here. All right, let's see. Man, I'm going to have a great Ostara. These hand-blended bath salts contain sea salt, Epsom salt. I've got like things that are just itching my face. Jasmine essential oil, dried jasmine, and orange peel. <laughs> I think I just had something in my mouth. Salts have, have endless uses. Wonderful for cleansing and casting circles and purification baths. Mixed with water, they can be used for purification of your circle and on their own used to represent the element of earth on your altar. Infused with botanical oil excuse me, dry botanicals to align with both Sarah energy. I'm going to smell these because I just need to. So let me open this. Come on. Mmm. Oh, yeah, girl. And I think I, I say this, like, all the time with these type of things. So this one's very small, but um, I keep a bunch of, like, uh, organza bag so I can put all of this in here. I'll still get the benefits, but without the mess in your tub. So save those things, guys. And if you buy crystals from my shop, you, you, the tumbled crystals, you will get a purple organza bag with it. And then you could use it with your salts. Okay. All right. Um, there's crinkle paper in here for our crinkle paper monster. Um, then we have jasmine incense, and it says burn at the beginning of your ritual. Yum! To cleanse your space and to set your intentions. Okay. Incense represents the element of air as well as fire. Jasmine is regarded as one of the most mystical of all flowers. Magical properties include prophecy, lucid dreaming, luck, and attracting things to you. Jasmine especially corresponds to the waxing moon. Like the maiden, its beauty is intoxicating and its bloom is brief. 
I'm going to put that right up here with all of my incense. And then we've got some lemon balm, as um, we kind of figured from our, uh, our artwork. Lemon balm. It's organic. This herb is associated with happiness, renewal, purity, and healing. It is one of my favorite herbs to work with. It was called the Elixir of Life by various herbalists and is known for its calming effects. This citrus-scented dried herb can be added to sachets or infused in boiling water to make tea. It can also be carried with you to help ease anxiety and bring balance and peace. Very nice. And again, I sell it in my shop. Um, very nice. Okay, I think there's only one thing left and I know kind of what it is. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything. So we got our incense sticks, our bath salts, body oil, um, palm stone, botanical bundle, Ostara candle, like listen to all this stuff. Uh, lemon balm, Ostara offering, seed pod, the art prints, and the orca cart. Okay. You guys ready? Can you guess what it is? I need my X-Acto knife. Um, I'm like beyond excited because like I said, I can read kind of what it is. I just don't know what it looks like. <laughs> Come on. Open. Ah! I'm going to end up hurting myself with my X-Acto knife. All right. It's packed very nicely <laughs> with lots of tape and bubble wrap. Okay, put that over there. Okay, come here. We've got more tape. <laughs> you guys love watching me struggle with packaging, right? That's what you came here for. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> We've got a Ostara statue. And you know what's great is it's flat on this side so we could put a little hangy thingy or like even some uh, 3M, like, you know, the, the sticky stuff and plunk it on the wall. Okay, let me get closer. Look. Ah! I kind of do want her to just be on the wall. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna find something to put on the back of this and hang her. Yay. Okay, let me find her again. Statue. This offering has been many moons in the making with special permission from the Ukrainian sculptor. <gasps> I wonder if it's the same. Okay. I don't know for sure, but my friend Aiden, shout out Aiden. Okay. She had got me this from a Ukrainian sculpture that's on Etsy. This is my Isis. Um, I wonder if this is the same one. Okay, all right, let's go back. Special permission from the Ukrainian, blah, 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 blah. Ukrainian sculptor. This wooden carving has been lovingly recreated out of molding clay and then hand casted out of resin and hand painted. They have been charged by Mother Earth and under the full moon on March 7th. Placed in the center of your Ostara altar, each one is individually unique. I'm totally excited. Look, she's holding a little rabbit or a hair. I guess we're going to say it's a hair. Uh, oh my gosh, guys. So that, my friends, is our Ostara March 2023 Sugar Muses Deluxe box. Super excited. What is your favorite item? Duh, the statue. I mean, but everything is great. And you guys know I love her, um, her oils so much. They're like my favorite. So guys, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment below what you think of this box. And again, if you're interested in subscribing to this box, I've got a link below. If you use my link, I do get a kickback and it helps me out to keep going in all of my things. And I appreciate the support and help from all of you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, did I say, if you want to subscribe to me, this would be a great time to do so. <laughs> And that is really it. So I'm going to stop talking. And also don't forget cauldron sand in my shop. These, I have like 13 of each color right now. So, um, they might go fast. I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, but if they seem to be popular, I'm going to keep them rolling. So that is it guys. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.